What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find volumes of prisms. So let's start with an easy one right here. So as you can see here we have a rectangular prism, right? So for a rectangular square prism or basically something that looks like a box, the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height, right? So here we can say that the volume is going to be equal to, let's see, what's the length? 4 meters times the width is 2 meters times the height is 1.5 meters. So if you multiply this all together, you'll get that this is equal to 12. And what are our units? Well, as you can see, we're working with meters. And with volumes, we have to put a little three for our exponent, okay? Because we're working in three dimensions. So that's why our units are cubic, all right? So the volume of this rectangular prism is 12 meters cubed, or another way to say that, is 12 cubic meters. All right, here's our next example. And as you can see, now we have a triangle, right? So the formula is gonna be a little bit different. So here we can say that the volume is gonna be equal to the base times the height, where the base is basically just the area of one of the faces, and then the height is gonna be that third dimension that you didn't use, okay? So for instance, here we can find the area of a base or a face. And let's just do this one up here on top, right? Let's do this triangle right here, okay? So how do you find the area of just a triangle? Well, the area of a triangle is gonna be equal to one half the base times the height, right? So here you can see that the base we could say is three centimeters. So the area of this triangle is gonna be equal to one half times three centimeters. And then the height of the triangle we could say is four. So then here, one half times 12 is equal to six, okay? So the area of this face is equal to six centimeters squared, okay? So let's plug that into our formula. So we're gonna get that the volume is equal to the base, or again, just the area of a face, which we found to be six centimeters squared. And then we're gonna multiply that by the height right here, which is two centimeters, right? That's the only other dimension we haven't dealt with. So that's gonna be our height. So then here, the volume is gonna be equal to, well, six times two, that's equal to 12. And then our units are gonna be centimeters cubed, okay? And that makes sense with the units that we wrote out here, right? Because we have centimeters squared times just centimeters. So two plus one is equal to three. All right, here's the next prism that we're gonna do. So as you can see, we're given again some dimensions. This is seven inches, this is 10 inches, and then the height is given as five inches. But as you can see, the triangle is slanted, right? It's like leaning over to the left, but that doesn't change anything, okay? You still use the exact same formula. So it's still that the volume is equal to the base times the height, right? So again, here we can just find the area of a face so again, we could use this face up here, all right? So let's find the area of just that face. So the area of that triangle is gonna be equal to one half the base times the height. So that's gonna be equal to one half. The base will say is seven and the height will say is 10. So then here, this is gonna be equal to uh, seven times 10 is 70 and half of 70 is 35. And what are our units? Inches. And this is just the area of the face, right? So this is just gonna be inches squared, okay? So that's the area of the face. So we're gonna get that the volume is equal to the base, or the face again, right? So 35 inches squared. Now the height is still gonna be the same, right? Even though the triangle is slanted, doesn't matter. Here it's telling us that the height is five inches. So we're simply gonna plug in five inches right there. So then here, the volume is gonna be equal to 35 times five, which is 175. So we get 175 inches cubed. All right, so here we have a rectangular prism again, but this time it's slanted, right? It's leaning to the right, but it's gonna be the exact same thing, all right? Even if it's leaning, that doesn't change anything. So if you wanna find the volume of this guy, it would again just be the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. So here, the length we'll say is six 
times the width, we'll say is 11. And the height, it's given right here, right, it's 14. So then this is equal to 924 meters cubed. All right, here's the last example that we're gonna do. So as you can see here, now we have a different shape, right? It looks like we have a trapezoid. So this is a trapezoidal prism. So again, in order to find the volume of a prism, you can use the formula that the volume is equal to the base times the height, where the base is really just the area of a face. Okay, so here, let's find the area of this trapezoid, of this face, all right? And I'm gonna just outline it right here really quick. All right, so how can we find the area of this trapezoid? Well, there's two different ways, right? So we could, if we wanted to, break this down into three little shapes. So we could break it down here and here. We could find the area of this triangle and the area of this triangle and then the area of this rectangle and then just add them all up. Or, since again, we know that this is a trapezoid, we can use the formula to find the area of a trapezoid. So to find the area of a trapezoid, the formula is a plus b over two times h, where a and b are the lengths of the bases, so this short base and the long base, right? So those are a and b, and then h is the height of the trapezoid, which as you can see, it's given right here as three centimeters. Okay, so let's figure out what the area is here. So the area of the trapezoid is gonna be equal to, again, just add the bases together. So what's the length of this base? Well, it tells us that the length down here is six centimeters. So that means this base is also six centimeters, right? So we can say that A is six, and then B is given, uh, it's this long one right here, it's given as 14, so six plus 14 over two times the height, which again is three. So then here, six plus 14 is 20. So we get 20 divided by two times three, and that's equal to 10. So 10 times three is equal to 30. And let's get our units, right? So we're working in centimeters. So we get centimeters squared. Okay, so this is the area of the face, or in other words, the base, right? So then here we can say that the volume is gonna be equal to 30 times the height, which is gonna be the last dimension that we haven't used, which is gonna be this one, right? This is basically the height right there, which is five, right? So then here, the volume is gonna be equal to 30 times five, which is 150, and we're gonna get centimeters cubed, boom. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.